Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Vita Bellanoria across all my social media platforms and we're not going to do too long of an intro because you already know why you're here. You're here to see the clothes. <laughs> so this first haul is going to be sports athletic type gear and also a way that you can actually go ahead and expand out your current fall winter wardrobe without having to spend so much money on so many brands just by adding in a few key pieces that will mix and match throughout your wardrobe so you're able to expand your wardrobe while still keeping it budget friendly okay now this part of the haul is going to be an adidas haul so this is any and everything adidas that i have that i've gotten during this actual season will actually be in this haul so we're going to have a chance just to go over some pieces where i got them from how you can get them for the cheapest price so if you're ready let's go ahead and get into this haul Taking me home For one thing really do one. Okay, and this is going to be the next one and this is the all white with the black stripes and this is the trio track jacket along with the actual pants. The Adidas pants come with the past the leg stripe all the way down to your knee. And of course it has a zipper down here on the bottom of the pants so you can wear a wide leg or you can zip it all the way down so it becomes a narrow leg. And the jacket is plain on the back, nothing else additional on the back. And because I do wear a man's 2X, all of my sleeves always fit and look just like this. So for me, <laughs> I always have to pull and scrunch them up like that. Now, with this particular sweatsuit, it does come with the zip up pockets so you can zip the pockets closed if you want to if that's your thing as far as your pockets which makes them a very secure safety pocket so that way when you're wearing your clothes and different things if you want to unzip your pocket and put something in it you can or you can zip it back for safekeeping when you're going to games events to the bar riding the bus train anything like that Security pockets are always going to be a good thing for you guys, especially when it comes to zippers and close contact when people are constantly bumping into you. Now, you can go ahead and wear it like this. You can go ahead and zip it all the way up. Because this is more or less the lighter material, this is the sweatsuits, uh, track, track suit and jumpsuits that you guys would be wearing doing... March, April, May, and during the end of September, October, November, around that time. You can wear this in the winter time on those days where you know it's gonna be 65, 70 degrees, and you're not getting out until after midday when the temperature has already broke the 52, 53 inch range. So this is lightweight enough for you not to overheat. It will provide some type of barrier as far as when it's cold, but not much. Boot on when it's in the dead of winter, don't do it. But for me and my style and how I like my clothes to be when I wear my jumpsuits, tracksuits, or sweatsuits, I would never wear it like this. I would always wear it and just leave it open for the most part. If I could take tags off, that'd be great. But um, I would just leave it open like this and I would just wear it out and about like this with it being open. So for me, it just wears better this way. And because of the all white, I would just throw on the white Adidas visor to actually go with it. The actual hat didn't make sense for my face shape and my style as a woman. So I like the women visors when it comes to this type of um set up as far as wearing a zip up track suit or jumpsuit of course if you're a guy then of course you can go ahead and wear the regular hat the fitted hat and different things like that because of course it'll look a little different on you but for me with this particular look i just like to look better with the actual visors so you can wear it and do it like this so this is going to be one look for you and of course all the information is already on the screen and in the description box let's go ahead and take a look at the next one now, this next one is gonna be the same white and black pants. Again, you don't have to do the Adidas bottoms. You can switch out with regular jeans, black leggings, or black sweatpants. You know, this way you can break it up, have some monotony to your actual wardrobe, and actually make your wardrobe 
looks bigger than what your wallet may have spent for. So this is an excellent way to do this. I know not everyone's a fan of the zip up hoodies or the zip up tracksuit jackets and different things like that. Sometimes you just really want to just throw on the hoodie, be completely comfortable and call it a day. I got you, I got you with this one. This is the white Adidas. This is the black on the white. And you know, there's nothing else additional on the Adidas, Adidas hoodies. These are just your regular hoodies. And the detailing on this one is all black too. You can throw it on with the actual hat. Um, the information will be on the screen for you guys. Of course, because again, I'm a man's 2X. <laughs> I'm always looking and doing like that. So I always have to wind up pulling mine down. So if you are uh if you're a woman and you love shopping in the men's department adidas and nike hand down are the departments you definitely want to play around in because it's something about men's fashion and the way it'll fit and look on women especially if you're into that oversized boyfriend look but if you're also plus size you can get more material in a men's 2x versus a women's 2X. A women's 2X is gonna be naturally cut, smaller, slimmer. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. But men's clothing has a tendency to always wanna fit big and bulky and bulk out. So a lot of times women will go over to the men's department to get that boyfriend fit. Or if you're a little bit bigger and plus size, you'll go over to the men's department to actually get the correct fit for you. So this is one look. Um, I do like the fanny packs and different things they have, the Champion, the Feli, the Adidas fanny packs and things like that, but um, I haven't really found one that I really like the way it fits around my waist. And even with the uh, chest bags, you know, you see a lot of them with the Adidas, the Feli, the Champion, the Gucci, the Prada, just whatever. Actual chest bags, pieces. It's actually a fanny pack, which you can just wear it across your chest or back. And I really didn't find anything or see anything that I really liked, but I was thinking, let me think outside of the box with this one. Let me see how I can still be fashionable but do something different that I know not too many people will have. Let me show you guys what I got. Next thing that I got was the Adidas book bag. And the reason why I love the Adidas book bag is specifically a white one with the black detailing is because no matter what you're doing no matter where you're going you can always just go ahead and just throw this on and call it a great day and you can take a plain adidas outfit and really jazz and spice it up a little bit and people will see you out and you're so used to seeing the fanny packs or the shoulder straps now that when you see somebody out in public and you see this you can like when Adidas started doing it, from a distance, it looks like Adidas now has the stripes, kind of like the old 2002 G unit, the halter top, well not halter tops, the um, tank tops they used to have with the piping right here around the G unit tank tops. So you're looking like, wait, is this a new season of Adidas? Is this the new, do I need to go get this too? But when you turn around and you're out in public, and it does zip, so you don't have to worry about any issues or anything with anybody cleaning or messing around with the back of it. So this is a great way for you to stand out from everybody else and not look like a cookie cutter cutout of what you can see on Instagram. It also gives you the opportunity to be, no matter what city you're in, how big or small your city, odds are no one's gonna wear it quite the way you wear it. No one's gonna put the pieces together quite the way you put them together. So definitely be very experimental with how you decide to put your clothes together. Uh, definitely have fun with it. You know, just do... If you don't want to look like the dummy standing in the store, <laughs> in the champion store, the full pocket store, or the, you know, finish line store, I'm talking about the dummies in the front of the store, where they have on the whole fit and be standing there like this. If you don't want to just throw the fit on and look like that, Break your pieces up. Do something different with your pieces. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see it. But this is what the closer fit looks like, guys. And we will go ahead and take a look at some other pieces for you guys. But this is one of the very cool pieces I wanted to show you guys. 
Just so, you know, even when it comes to your children, your husband, your spouse, yourself, it doesn't even matter. It's, it's something different that you can actually do. And these book bags are actually cheaper than the fanny packs anyway. Save that money where you can, boo. Now, this other part, you guys already know I'm a huge, <laughs> I'm a big kid at heart. I'm also a huge Rick and Morty fan as well. So this is a collaboration that Rick and Morty did with Adidas. You've seen these shirts probably on a quite uh, a few influencers at this point, um, on Instagram at least. And the thing about this shirt is you have Rick in the traditional OG Run DMC tracksuit, and you have Morty in the more modernized sweatsuit version of the OG Run DMC LL Cool J sweatsuit. And I absolutely love it. Of course, it's pretty plain. It's nothing else additional on the back or sleeve or anything. And again, guys, you can always customize anytime you're buying from a brand. And for some odd reason, I hate when they only screen print, silk print, or just do the designs and graphics on the front, but it's plain sleeves and plain black backs. I truly hate that. For pieces that are good quality, that are timeless, that are gonna be in your collection for years, if you know a piece is gonna be in your collection and hold up in your collection for four plus years, I definitely encourage you to take the additional $15, $20 to go ahead and get your pieces customized. Um, it could be you and four other people running around the event, the game, the bar, whatever it may be. Seriously, do doubt it. But just in case you're out in public and you run into somebody else that may so happen to have on the same shirt that you have on, they not gonna have it rocked a style the way that you have it rocked a style. So go ahead and get your nickname put on the actual side. Go ahead and get, you know, your favorite Rappers information from this era since they are doing an OG throwback to the late 80s, early 90s with this particular fashion on the front of the shirt. Go ahead and get your favorite rappers information right here. Um, I told you guys on the old school cassette tapes, I'm gonna get the Tupac lyric on the actual back of the actual shirt. Well, on the back of this shirt, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna get it customized and I'm gonna have a classic Run DMC line with Run DMC put on the actual back of it. You know, I'm not a fan of the loud front, plain sleeves, plain back. I like to kind of have a 360 view, whether it's something on the sleeve or something on the back of her shoulders, going down the back, something back there. So I'm gonna definitely go ahead and customize this piece. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Now this next one is your traditional OG black with white Adidas actual sweatshirt. It does have the overlay of the screen print on the front of the establishment in the 1949 along with the other branding information from the actual company. It is plain, so it's nothing else additional on the sleeves or the actual back of it. But I love this because this is just one of those timeless pieces to add to your actual wardrobe, whether you want to throw a hat on with it or the book bag with it or the fanny pack or the actual sh shoulder bag, whatever you feel like, whatever makes it comfortable for you. And the thing about Adidas, Adidas authentic Adidas clothing, uh, their, their shirts and stuff, specifically their shirts, their shirts are super soft and super amazing. But yeah, I went ahead and got this. This is really for, um, you could wear this underneath one of your jogging suits. If you're out and about doing it this time and it's breezy and cool, but you know you're about to go meet your friends, your loved ones, your boo thing, whatever, and y'all are about to go to a restaurant, Dave and Busters or something like that, you could wear your track suit or your sweatsuit out during the day while you're busy doing whatever you have to do. And then when you get to your destination, if it's super warm on the inside of your destination, take the hoodie off and just have the shirt underneath or take the tracksuit jacket off and just have the shirt underneath and you are good to go with this one. Okay guys, so this is gonna be your traditional black and white Adidas. Absolutely love the traditional black and white color theory. You're gonna have your white stripes going all the way from the actual hip all the way down. Your traditional black and white hoodie. Of course, it's gonna be plain on the back with your hood back here and this is your traditional OG 1980s, can't live without my radio, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Adidas Fit. So this is definitely one you gotta add to your actual collection. You can jazz it up with the actual fitted hats, if that's something you prefer to do with the actual visors, if you're more of a visor person, 
or they do have the fanny packs. I can't fit them, so I didn't even buy them. I bought the book bag instead. Or, of course, if black and white isn't necessarily your thing, your color theory, then I also went ahead and got it. And the traditional gray, white, and black, the top is gonna be your traditional dark heather gray with the white Adidas. All the detailing and piping is in black. And that's going to tie into the black and gray sweatpants, of course, with the black trio strips going all the way down. And all the Adidas information on the pants are also in black. So these are two for you guys to start out with. Now, this one is going to be your traditional, it's the mesh overlay type of uh, Adidas shirt. Again, the material is very, very soft. And this is your traditional white on red. <laughs> of course, you know, they have... The bottoms that go with it whether you want the trio pants to go with it or you want sweatpants to go with it but this is again the part of your pieces where i was talking about break your collection up the shirt itself i'm gonna leave the pricing information on the actual screen for you guys but you see the price of the actual shirt you don't necessarily have to go ahead and spend the additional 45 55 dollars on the matching pants to it you can wear this since it is short sleeve and you can wear this in the actual winter time just throw on your actual jacket some jeans and boots and throw this shirt on if you want to or you can actually just go ahead and throw some sweatpants and your slides if you're going somewhere real quick running some errands and it's not too cold outside or since it's short sleeve in the summertime boom if you don't throw on your jeans some white leggings and some red and white sneakers or some white heels with this one or some daisy dukes and you know your sandals and stuff like this is the shirt that can transcend throughout your actual wardrobe. You can still wear the short sleeves in the actual winter time. You just part, you'll just wear it as part of your layering of that. So that way you're nice and bundled up while it's cold, but when you get to work or get to wherever you're going and it starts to get warm, because typically most jobs have the heat set way too high. Why is it too hot in here? <laughs> you can start to take off the pieces of clothing so you're not sitting there overheating. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last one. Now, this one is gonna be the final two-piece set. It is the dark blue, obsidian blue with the white graphics on it for the actual Adidas brand and logo. And the pants have the Adidas logo, the big oversized Adidas logo. The stripe part is in the blue obsidian to match the shirt. And of course, the writing is in actual white. So this is gonna be your classic color blocking, <laughs> so to speak. Not really, but kind of on that sense of a color theory because it's the gray sweatpants and this side is plain, no stripes or anything like that. These are the thinner sweatpants, so these are the sweatpants you can wear in the fall and springtime, summertime. Just really depends on where you're going and what you're doing. If it's cooler at night in your part of the country, then yeah. Uh, in the South, we'll, don't do this, you'll pass out. Just wear a shirt <laughs> with some Daisy Dukes or some shorts or whatever it may be. Yeah, no, <laughs> I wouldn't put on the whole thing necessarily in the summertime, depending on your part of the country, unless it get kind of breezy or cool at night, you know, but this is typically gonna be your springtime and fall time outfit. It is the thinner material, so it's very breathable, very light, something, that'll work excellent in your actual collection for getting up, running errands, and going to the mall real quick. This is one of the perfect airport travel outfits. Perfect airport travel outfits. It's light enough and convenient enough to where you're not gonna get hot, running back and forth from your terminal to the trains and Charlie's at the airport to go find your rental cars, to get Uber. No, you're not gonna get too over hot or heated with this. And if you're one of those people who are normally cold natured anyway, this really will keep you at a pretty even temperature. I would just tell you to throw a hoodie on over it, hop on the plane, and you are good to go. So it doesn't matter what city you're boarding in or what city you're actually exiting in, you're gonna be on fashion and on trend going to the airport and also leaving the airport. So this one I like, of course it got the regular sweat, um, pockets on the actual sweatpants and the shirt you know it's plain most brands actually do that i wish they had like just something else with it but you know it's just one of their plain 
blue and white actual sweatshirts. But yeah, this one I really, really like. Um, from, for those people who aren't necessarily the biggest fan of a whole bunch of uh, brand logos or branding over their clothes, this is a very minimal look. Outside of that big ass Adidas logo right here, this would be a pretty, uh, this is where you would dip your toe into the Adidas brand because of the thinner sweatpants. These are gonna be a little cheaper than their actual thicker sweatpants. And of course, this is an Adidas t-shirt. So this is half the price of the actual hoodies. So this way you get a feel for the brand. You get to build your wardrobe with the brand. And of course, you could wear these sweatpants with a totally different top and still be on brand and trend as far as fashion is concerned. And again, like I told y'all, throw this on with some date to do some, some slides, sandals, whatever it may be, and be about your business. So you literally can buy this one outfit and break it apart into two separate outfits that'll give you two totally different looks. Or put it back together and boom, you got three different looks for three different vibes, feelings, occasions, whatever, whatever it is you may be trying to do. So hopefully you guys have had a chance to just, you know, see the different pairings of the office when it comes to Adidas, the color theories. And I started off really with the plain basic colors because my next Adidas haul is gonna kick it up and we're gonna go into the colorful pieces, the in your face, loud, where you going pieces. <laughs> okay, if you've made it to this part of the video, then you've had a chance to see a few cute, a few key pieces and how you can incorporate them into your actual wardrobe and how you can just change it up while still being fashionable, still being on trend, but we're not trying to break the rank, so we're trying to save some money too. So hopefully you've been able to add some of these to the shopping carts because I know a lot of these items that I went over are actually on sale now. It wasn't necessarily always on sale when I bought it, but I found a coupon to make it cheaper. But that coupon would have saved me even more money now that it's on sale. <laughs> but guys, go ahead and have fun shopping. And again, you know I don't care when you're watching me. If it's in the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night, on your way to church. <laughs> I'm just happy that you decided to come spend some time with me. And again, thank you, YouTube.